Hey, what's up? Derek Kirk here of Effectatron. And today, as a big thank you for getting over 100,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much. Uh, here are 10 free materials, but you'll notice once we dive into these materials, uh, basically they are going to become a lot more materials because they're all customizable. A lot of them are procedural and we explain how to use them and stuff and how you can turn one material into like 50 different materials and uh, that. So once you get like something like this gold and you change the colors and stuff and you want to save it, uh, just literally drag and drop it into your asset browser. Whenever you're making any textures, start doing that. And then to import these textures, you'll sign up the link below and you'll get a download link for a zip file. And all you have to do is open that up, click create go to import assets and then inside of that zipped folder you'll unzip the first one that's got 2005 25 on it open that up and then grab the zipped material pack do not unzip that one just grab that one click open and it will import those into there for you obviously i have them already so it says okay but then it puts them right here in the uncategorized section and there they are so now they're yours to use drag and drop over whenever you need and now you can see we'll continue on uh, into how we can control these create your own and you'll see that it's just a lot of fun to uh, create some really cool powerful stuff inside of redshift and give you lots of control it's a big thank you to all the support i hope you enjoy these again the link is down below and today uh, the day this video is dropped there are less than 24 hours to grab the mind emotion workshop on 50 percent off it is the last final hour sale it will not be this cheap again if there's ever a better time to learn c40 and redshift it's now hashtag ad i know but it really is just one of the best ways to learn and with c4d and uh, the new renewal cycle is going to include gpu's version of redshift so literally anyone that's using c4d will have a gpu redshift there's not been a better time to learn it like this is the year of redshift and it's going to be great and we're going to dive in and uh, figure it all out and you'll be able to make your own reel and stuff and everything so check it out link below for that as well all right let's get into these cool materials so let's just go ahead and show off some of these materials as well as just kind of tell you how to manipulate them and control them and stuff so like here's a cool gold vein uh kind of marble material that i created uh very easily and i'll show you how i did this and if you ever get like confused and stuff in here remember there's always this little box down here to help but you hit uh h and that will frame everything up and shift l will align everything for you so it gets rid of your spaghetti if you need that okay Cool. So basically, everything's being driven by a Maxon noise right here for this one. So if I want to change the way this looks, like I want to have one marble material here and then have another object, I'm like, you know what? I actually just want this to look slightly different. Just literally change the seed. Boom. Completely different look. Completely different marble. Done. And say, okay, well, that's cool, but I want to change the colors of it. Okay. Use a ramp. Say, okay, instead of gold, I want the, the lines, like the dark part to be like black. All right. So we'll do black, but we'll do like 1% because we are driving the metalless value. You probably want to take that out. You never want to go pure black with metalless because then it just doesn't work. Uh, but yeah, okay, cool. So now we'll take that and then we'll take this black part and make this probably like a like a nice light gray. And then we can have some, make this like a, kind of a grayish blue as well. And then boom, we have a completely different marble countertop. Just like that. And if you want to get rid of the metalless, obviously all you do is unplug that and boom, done. No more metalness. Simple enough. There you go. Nice simple countertop. And again, say, okay, actually, I don't like those. I'm going to change the noise completely. You can go with like weird abstract designs, whatever you want. Sell noise. Um, if you, again, at that point, it doesn't really look like marble anymore. But you can play around with that and see what you get. Um, another thing I would say to advise you to playing around with noises is it's always fun to play around with the scale. But what really gets cool, interesting results is when you play around with the cycle. So let's say we're on this one and we just like, okay, that's kind of cool. Um, but let's go ahead and just jack up the cycle a bit and things start getting kind of crazy and weird and they kind of like start looping inside of themselves. And it's always fun. It's a different effect across different materials. Uh, so you know, you can go to FBM or something and you get lots of tiny little cracks and stuff like that. And then again, without cycling, looks like that. With cycling... You know, you start kind of looping in on yourself and the more you do it, the more crazy little details you can get and stuff, which is pretty cool to making like concrete, whatever you want. Nice. All right. So let's throw some more of these on here and take a look at what they are. Boom and boom. And again, with the glass, obviously we'll take a cool look at that. To control the color of this glass, obviously you're going to play around with either the base color or the transmission color and the scatter depth. Changing this will you know, really change the color of this. So you can get some really cool, pretty colors. 
like that. And again, making the depth higher will make it more see-through. So I can get like these nice little bits where it's only really dark in the, the thicker parts. And then it'll be nice and clearish and pretty in the thinner parts. So play around with that as well. But those glass is just pretty. Redshift just does glass so well. Uh, this one's just really fun. It's kind of a terrazzo, but I made it kind of a fun 80s arcade style, I call it. Uh, basically, it makes me really want pizza. So like, what was it like two years ago, we went to this, um, we were on vacation, and I'm to this pizza place called Cosmo's Pizzeria. Uh, let me know if you've ever been there. It was in the Outer Banks. And Cosmo's, I walked in there. I don't, there's not been a more nostalgic smell than just like arcade games, like sticky floors and pizza and grease. Like it smelled so good. <laughs> It just made me, uh, it took me back to the days of birthday parties and stuff like that. Back when I used to be social and have people. All right. But yeah, so this one's really cool because it's very easily organized. You see there's like a bunch of stuff going on. It's like, oh my gosh. But all it is, again, is a max on noise. It drives all of these. And they're all just kind of stacked together and adjusting the different colors. And these can all be adjusted. So each one of these can adjust the colors of this. But then all of those are being adjusted by an overall tint color. And I even have like a glow one that you can make the, the little glow in the dark bits glow if you wanted to. But yeah, so the overall tint here is just adjusted like this. And again, if you want to change the color of this, you can just simply be like, okay, I want that to be red. I want this to be white. I want this to be like, a, I don't know, like that. And then this is going to be kind of like that. And this one will be like a pink. Might be fine, like a light pink. Boom. There you go. And now you have a completely different look just like that. So yeah, completely customizable, changeable, whatever. Um, if you want, what I would do if I were you is I would like copy and paste it and make a different copy. Then just play around with different nulls or just hold control, click, and drag when you have the original open and start just like leave the original backup so you can come back in here. But yeah, it's just built in a way that hopefully you can, you know, realize how things are built and how once you understand the structure of stuff, you should be able to, to make it yourself. All right, last, uh, not lastly, but all right, we'll take out this leather. Boop. Leather one's very cool. I like it a lot. There we go. We'll take a close look at this leather here, and you can see it's just kind of this like worn, cracked leather look with some scratches and stuff and some scuffs. It just looks really nice. It's very fast and everything. This one is built on a noise for the color. So again, you can change the color of the leather just by adjusting this ramp. You can say we want it to be more of a reddish, like a like a nice kind of you know, warmer leather a bit, add some color into it. Boom. There you go. Let's make that darker again. I think the darker looks nice. Yeah. And maybe this is just too saturated. Bring that down like that. And maybe slide that up so it's like a little more one color. There you go. Boom. Completely different color. Everything is good. There's your leather. And again, you can play around with the seed because it is based on a noise. You can change the way that looks. Everything. So I am using a texture map to drive the color. You can obviously use a noise if you want. So you could come in here and just do that. And then you can adjust that noise to whatever you want. And clamp it in, scale it up, scale it down, whatever. That should all be pretty nice. like that very easy to control and adjust enjoy that one all right next is a wood material which we come in here and drag and drop that in there and this wood material is pretty cool because i made it inside of substance for the texture of the wood uh but you can see uh basically we've got wood a weird little wood bump here some smudge for the roughness and then this wood texture inside of that and then it's kind of just like stretched a bit to give it that kind of wood grain look but again you want to change the color of this again it's just controlled by a ramp very easy if you want it to be kind of a lighter a lighter wood maybe do like something like that and we can come that down always kind of keep it a less saturated than you think it needs to be so like a darker there you know so something like that like a nice gray uh floor something like that very cool or you could go with like a dark cherry something you know do whatever you want that's what's cool about it and again 
dark cherry red. Boom. Yeah, completely different woods with a couple clicks. Very controllable. Very nice. Okay. Uh, next is a cool SSS one, just because I love SSS. I think it looks so good. Uh, yep, it already starts off looking really weird, but as it smooths out, it it looks good. It's just IPR and SSS aren't the best of friends. But yeah, it's um it's this really nice bright red leather. And again, all I have all these materials and more uh, in the little bit of everything pack that's uh, available down below as well. If you want more than 10 materials, go ahead and check that out. It's... um. Right now, the timing of this video is just 60 bucks for 400 materials. So uh, it's a good deal. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Change color. You see? So, yep. Boom. Boom. There you go. I love this, like, glow-in-the-dark color. I think this is, like, my favorite color to make. Also, it makes me like a Nike. I feel like Nike uses that a lot. It's cool. All right. But there's that. And then now we'll look at some concrete here. Boom. Nice concrete look. Let's do a close look at this one. And let's go ahead and get my render settings cranked up. Put denoiser on. Switch this to 64. There you go. You can see this is like a really nice concrete with some little chips and stuff away on in it and stuff like that. And it's just, again, completely customizable. This color, again, driven by a simple ramp. If you want it to be, you know, just slightly different or darker. Just crank those down. Turn down the colors. Darker. Boom. Darker concrete. It's that easy. Enjoy. <laughs> and I don't like you saying enjoy. This one is just like for um to test UV maps. All right. It's just a UV test checker. You throw it on there, and make sure it's set to UV, and it will make it will just give you a UV grid on your stuff so you can see how things are going to be applied via UV. UV, I feel like that's just a pretty nice one to have. And then we've got a subtle dark studio floor. This one's what I'm using for the background here. It's just a really nice subtle floor with some like kind of matte reflections. Kind of a classic, easy, easy one. And then lastly, we've got the black worn here. Boom, boom, boom. It's just kind of a cool black surface that's like really worn down and aged and everything. And again, yes, it's called black, but yes, you can change the color of it. So we could make this like a, a red, I don't know, what would be a good color for this? Like a a white like a blue wall i don't know maybe just still like a whitish blue wall yeah and we could put some like red on it oops Ooh, now it's got like red splatter on it like that man pretty cool so just like that completely different look it's pretty sick cool all right hopefully you enjoyed that uh and uh enjoy the stream materials and uh, have a great day